Now in this video we would be discussing about a topic language which is another entity of automata and computation before studying language i recommend you to watch our previous video to get familiar with the concepts of alphabet and strings before going on to the language i want to explain you one another important term that is power of alphabet suppose sigma equals a comma b is a alphabet then sigma raised to the power 0 that is sigma raised to the power 0 means all the strings will be in this set that have length 0 obviously no string can have length 0 only a null string can have length 0 so we represent this set entity as null sigma raised to the power 1 means all the strings of possible length 1 that can be made by combinations of symbol from the main alphabet set our main alphabet set consists a and b by combination of a and b we have to make strings of length 1 obviously by using the length 1 we can make only a and b as two strings so sigma 1 contains a and b only sigma raised to the power 2 will contain all the strings of length 2 from the set a and b suppose a and b is a alphabet set then we have to make all possible combinations of length 2 then a a can be given b b can be given a b can be given and b a can be given so these are all possible strings of length 2 sigma raised to the power 3 means all possible strings made by combination of symbols in a given length 3 from the alphabet set suppose a b is a alphabet set then these are the strings that are of length a and all the all of them are combination of both the symbols in the main alphabet similarly sigma raised to the power k will be all the strings of length k made by possible combination of all the symbols in sigma so if now we are clear with this power of alphabet i will explain you the term clean closure or clean star now based on our study about the powers of an alphabet i explain you another topic that is the clean star or simply the closure clean star is represented by sigma on it over star we have studied the alphabet say a b and the powers are sigma 0 that is null sigma 1 ab sigma 2 aabb abba sigma 3 all the set of length 3 for this we can define clean star as union of all these powers of alphabets sigma star is equals to sigma 0 union sigma 1 union sigma 2 union sigma 3 up to the power k if we union all these powers of alphabets we get the clean star or closure set suppose this is the set clean star equals to null a b a a b b a b b a and all the strings further up to the length k this will form the closure set of all the powers of alphabets there is one other important thing that is sigma plus difference between sigma star and sigma plus is that sigma star can take the null string also the empty string also but the sigma plus cannot take the empty string it will contain every other string every other term that is in sigma star but null will not be included in sigma plus sigma star is called the closure and sigma plus is called the positive closure the formula we define for it is sigma star equals sigma 0 that is the null string union with sigma plus all the strings in sigma plus are union with the null string or we may write like this sigma star equals null string union sigma plus so i hope so powers of alphabet and clean star closure also the positive closure is clear to you so now we are ready to move on to the third important entity that is the language to start with the concept of a language we consider an example of alphabet say sigma equals a comma b then its clean closure or the clean star will be null a b double a a b b a b b triple a and so on so we all know that the clean star also contains the null string i want you to note these two points in your notebook 
sigma is a finite and non empty set that means the elements in the set alphabet will be finite that is countable but in sigma star the elements are infinite sigma star is a never ending set always because it contains all the strings possible with the combination of symbols present in the alphabet so note these two points sigma star is an infinite and non empty set the language can be defined as a set of strings chosen from sigma star that means the closure set this one a set of string chosen from sigma star where sigma is a particular alphabet obviously for sigma star there will be one particular alphabet from which sigma star set will be derived is called a language that means suppose i have this set sigma star and this the alphabet then the set of strings can be chosen as a a a b b a b b in one set then that will be one language triple a triple b a b a a a b and so on in one set that will be one language i will show you examples of language from this set now here i have declared three languages l1 l2 and l3 that i have constructed from the set sigma star this sigma star is constructed from this alphabet a comma b as you can see the set l1 contains four strings there are four strings a a a b b a and b b these four strings are enclosed in a set and call a language l1 now suppose there is another language l2 this is also a finite set and there i have enclosed this eight strings of length 3 so basically i mean that the l1 is consisting of strings that are of length 2 l2 is consisting of strings that are of length 3 and l3 is consisting of strings that are of length 1 but all these strings are chosen from the same set that is the clean star or closure so a language is a set of strings that is chosen from the clean closure of the alphabet sigma defined above but note that here languages l1 l2 and l3 are a finite set it is necessary that the languages will be a finite set because we have to choose a proper number of strings from the clean star obviously when we have to choose a finite number of strings from a infinite set then the set of that finite number of strings will be a finite set obviously then we can define a relation between language and the clean closure as the language defined by symbol l is always a subset of clean closure where l is a language over alphabet sigma now we will consider some more examples about language now here is an example of another language i have written the language of all strings consisting of two zeros and two ones from a binary alphabet 01 suppose there is a binary alphabet then there are two symbols 0 and 1 then its clean closure or clean star will be a infinite set of all possible combinational strings using these two symbols only but the language i have defined is according to a criteria that they should contain only two zeros and two ones so from the clean closure or the clean star set i have chosen all those strings that are having two zeros and two ones here it is 2021201202120010101 all of the strings are having two zeros and two ones so there must be a valid criteria according to which we will choose strings from the sigma star that is the clean star or closure of that alphabet to make a language note this point there is a valid criteria to choose set of string from sigma star of sigma that is the closure of that particular alphabet now let's see one another example another example is the language of all strings consisting of equal number of a and b from the set alphabet a comma b now note here that in my previous to previous example i showed you three languages l1 l2 and l3 and told you that it is a finite set uh, the sigma star that is the clean star will be infinite set and language will be a finite set but by this example i want to show you that language is a set which can also be infinite even so if we see this example i am saying the criteria is the language of all strings 
consisting of equal number of a and b from the alphabet a comma b now equal number of a and b it is written it is not written that some number a finite number of a and b's when i am saying equal number of a and b then there can be many number of a's and many number of b's even we cannot count that quantity so the language here formed will be first null string where there is no a and no b 1a 1b 1a 1b 2a 2b all these are 2a 2b hence the set can continue up to infinite where we can have 3a 3b's 4a 4b's 5a 5b's and so on so note this point that language is a set which can either be finite or either can be infinite also so this was our example to show that language is a set which can be infinite also now here is another example of a language sigma star is also a language where we choose all strings of sigma star this is an example where l is an infinite set here i am saying that suppose you are making a language and you copy all the clean star elements as it is into the language set then all the strings that are in sigma star come directly into the set of language l so here it can also be a language which is infinite corresponding to the clean star so clean star itself is also a language the fourth example is phi phi is the representation to represent an empty language where there is no string in it fifth example l is equals to set null epsilon symbol is used to represent null string empty string null is a language consisting of empty string so l is having a empty string this note set is not empty if the set is empty we represent it by phi but here in the set there is an empty string that we represent by epsilon this is an example of language with an empty string so i hope the concept of language is now clear to you note that the language set the set which is a language can be finite or even infinite also but the alphabet set is always finite and non empty till now in our previous video and this video we have discussed three main entities of automata and computation and they were alphabet strings and languages now there is one fourth entity also called grammar what is grammar i will explain you with the help of this topic problem a problem in an automata theory can be defined as the question in an automata theory what do you mean by question there is a main question which always exists at every point in this subject the question is whether a given string is a member of some particular language or not the solution of this question will be provided by the fourth main entity that is the grammars now we will study grammars in our next video but before going to grammars i want to explain you two main terms related to grammars that is the terminals and the non terminals the two terms are terminals and non terminals let's discuss these now the two terms terminals and non terminal mean terminals are the symbols in the alphabet set we have considered an alphabet set say sigma equals a comma b then there are two symbols in that a and b but the terminals terminals are those symbols in the alphabet set that cannot be replaced by other symbols of that alphabet only but the non terminals are those symbols that can be replaced by other symbols terminals are symbols that cannot be replaced by other symbols and non terminals are those symbols that can be replaced by other symbols now what is the meaning of this term replacement of symbols that we will cover in our next video when we will study grammars so i hope all that i have taught you till now alphabet string languages power of alphabet clean closure and formation of languages is clear to you now we are ready to move on to the next topic grammars which is the most important topic in automata now till now we have cleared our concepts about three main entities of theory of automata and computation and they are alphabet strings and language before moving on to another topic i want you to clear your concepts about these three topics and if you have any doubts please drop an email at the email address mentioned in the description of the youtube video and 
to watch our full playlist please click here to go through our previous video click here and to subscribe to our channel click here and then click on the bell button note please note that please like our video